Nick, can you go into explicit detail on how to lie to get a car salesman job? What sorts of dealerships shall I look for? P.S. Thanks to you and Jet for this cool stream. Appreciate it, guys. Guys who are lying to the dealerships. Bulk luxury dealerships. BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Lexus, Jeep, Honda, Toyota, Nissan. No, no Nissan. Don't go to Infiniti. Infiniti's not in the conversation. Don't care about Infiniti. Don't care about Jaguar. Range Rover is acceptable. I'm gonna go to them and you're gonna tell them that your cousin was a 30 car salesman and you, and you lived with him while your mom cleaned up her drug habit. And he taught you everything you need to know about selling 30 cars a month and that you won't leave every day until you sell a car. And then you stay there and you have to do everything you said. That's all. It's gonna be easy. Just seem really eager to work, man, and you'll get a job. And if you really are that fucking crazy to write a guy in a stream, a fucking, uh, a message on how to uh, be a car salesman, you, you'll be able to, to do it, bro. Nick, you got Listen. a message on Instagram from someone that put that advice to work. They lied, they got a car dealership job, and then they messaged you saying it worked. It worked. That was recently, right? That was, re yeah, yeah. Dudes do it all the time. There's 60 dudes selling cars right now because I because they've been, they've been working our program, the five-step program. And um, <laughs> there's dudes out there killing it. It makes me sad and it makes me so excited every day. It's why I go to work every day is for these kids out there that are making themselves 10, 15, 20,000 bucks a month, getting themselves out of fucking deep depression holes and like making themselves a fucking dollar or two. Go make yourself a fucking buck and a quarter, my man. Get out there and fucking crush it. It's easy, it's fast. All you have to do is lie to one salesman and you have the job, done. What's the alternative? You tell me how many fucking hoops you have to jump to to go to work at Merrill Lynch and shit. Get treated like a piece of shit for like seven, seven months and make them go to school and work as, uh, for, for like 40 grand. Car salesmen that are fucking idiots making like $20,000 a month, fast. I don't ever want to see anybody depressed and not being able to figure shit out working for fucking $13 an hour. Fuck that shit. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. A-hole with the 25, thank you, sir. He says, hey, Nick, I'm trying to become a car salesman. I know uh, what you've said. You can just lie to get the job, but what are some things I should know to actually be able to do the job, such as paperwork, things like that? Uh, yeah, you should know how to do a deal. I mean, I would know you have to, you know, there's a, there's a deal process which I go, I talk about in other things. Uh, you should know the competition. Lie and say you have a cousin that has it, that's real close to you. That's, that's what I say to lie about, just so they think there's some proximity to you and a person who actually knows how to sell a car. And then just say you have the enthusiasm on and then think about what the, uh, the, the prospective buyer, whatever brand you pick out, think about what the consumer is and then tell your boss that. And then know how to spot a good used car and know how to spot the best deal of a new car. That'll be impressive if you can figure that out through your own logic what the most sold car that they sell, what's the bread and butter thing they sell. Ryan Patterson with a 25. Hey Jet Nick, I'm 20 years old and I'm getting tired of my job as a restaurant waiter. I really want to do my car sales. Uh, what are your best tips for someone getting into car sales with no experience? Guys, with no experience, I had this happen to me. With no experience, learn the product first. Learn the sale, all right? Find a brand that you like and you can identify with. If you tell me what kind of car is the person drives, I can tell you a little bit about that person. Any kind of car, I can say what kind of person they are. Tall, short, fat, you know. Height, race, sexual <laughs> preference, no. Um, so you gotta know who, who you are and what you're selling. Um, it's sort of important. I like volume luxury because hey, I like volume luxury. So I like to sell a lot of things, but if you like more of a boutique -y style, so just, just keep that in mind. Know, know what you're talking about a little bit. Know what the person is thinking who's buying the unit. If you're buying RAV4s, you're thinking about CRVs, you're thinking about the Honda, Hyundai Kona, you're thinking about the Volkswagen, Tiguan or the Volkswagen, yeah, Tiguan. Know what they're thinking. Know the product line. Know the interest rates. Know what cars aren't selling on the lot. Know what used cars are selling on the lot. Know what a hot used car in that brand is. That's impressive to be like, oh, you guys must sell a ton of 2016 just out of warranty Corollas. Yes, we do. Man, you must have a tough time finding them. Yes, we do. Stuff like that. Good Nick luck. Singer with the 25. Nick, with your experience in car sales and antique sales, I was wondering if you had any sales advice for people who aren't as naturally gifted in the art of the sale, like us schizo artist types. Yeah, don't be a fucking psychopath most of the time will work. Get on your lithium. Yeah, um, know what you look like and know what you sound like to people. Um, assume the person you're trying to quote sell something to has A, seen it before. So you don't want to be the weirdest one, uh, you know, and you, I don't know, be able to deliver and have your rates set and have your, uh, have a plan in mind when you talk to someone, I guess, have like a, you know, a rate and a plan that should help, you know, being organized in the art space isn't easy, but, um, I, I mean, we're constantly paying people to do work and if people have a plan on it in a, in a, a beginning and an end, there should be some sort of number being shit out. I like your take about car sales. Um, when you said be like, br not brutally, just be super honest.
Yeah. And kind of shock them with how much you're not trying to be a charlatan. Um, yeah. And like, yeah, maybe this one's for you. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This one's better. This one that is, uh, yeah. I would make less money on is better. Like, from your standpoint. Or buy the other person's car. Go yeah. buy the Lexus. You're yeah. trying to be here so uncomfortably. You should drive by a Lexus. And it's not an insult. It's just yeah. this is, we're never going to get there. And I'm not trying to be a prick. Yeah. It's just that kind of like price is here. And honestly, I'll be honest, my car is going to be a maintenance nightmare. So it doesn't even stop here. Yeah. That's the way I would stop. Like, it's not even that bad because not only is it more money, the product, it doesn't stop there. There's even more shit that comes along with it. So this bad news gets worse. Yeah. And I don't want to be the guy that gave it to you and didn't tell you. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oil changes are $700. Yeah. 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 They're like $450. That hurts. Yeah. I know. Mirrors are like $2,000. Yeah. 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 Chevy Silverado mirrors are like two eighty. dollars I know. I think that's the ultimate disarm. Because when you're selling the something. The non-sale. People are, yeah, the non-sale is strong. Because people are scared to walk it. They're they're instantly looking for lies. Yeah. And they're kind of like getting off to the fact, yeah, I knew he was going to pull something. They're, they're yeah. like, I feel like on the drive over there, they're like, he's going to try to fuck Always. Me. They're so armed that you walk yeah. in, they're like this. Hi, you're we're like, going to look at a car. <laughs> Excellent. You're like, yeah, okay, something for SUVs. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just like something that can fit the children. Um, <laughs> yeah, something all-wheel drive, like leather, and we're trying to keep our payment around, you know, like $600. And I'm like, $600 buys you $36,000. The starting price of our smallest SUV is $42,000. <laughs> our largest one that fits eight passengers, the starting price is $72,000, which is $1,400 a month. Where? How far apart are we? With 30 seconds. I tell them that within 30 seconds. And they're like, oh, and I'm like, I'm not trying to fuck with you. A used one is 36000 I will show you the five used $36,000. And let's assume that we didn't price them so out of the market that we're crazy. Yeah. But just look at what you got for 36 And I know what you're going to say. These look like shitty cars. Because you're right. They are shitty cars. Because you came in here wanting Mercedes for thirty six, And I, that was it. But no big deal. I'll tell you where to go to get a good 36000 in the car. And then they're like, it's right over there at Lexus. And then I would send them over to Lexus, and the guys running the Lexus were fucking losers, and they would fuck the deal up. And then they would go to Infinity. <laughs> it used to blow my mind. You're sending them money. I'm sending them deals, and they're, they're fucking like, up oh, deals, oh. and they're turning. They're turning. Uh, we call them turning. Uh, <laughs> it's like an insult. Hey, what are you guys gonna do? Turn your Lexus customers into Infinity customers with your bad fucking tactics? And then they would go to Infinity, and it's which is a terrible car, the worst of the luxury brands. So you just fucked up a consumer. You ruined that person's life by being a dipshit. Uh, we got false with the 25. Hey, Nick, I ended up getting a sales job at Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I know about cars, but I've never had a sales job in my life. I feel like I'm going to be fine, but any tips for me starting off fresh? Um, hmm. Nope. No, of course. Sell Dodge diesel pickups. Stay to these customers. So in the lineup of the vehicles, sell Jeep Grand Cherokees, Jeep Wrangler leases. Right? That's the only thing, right? Talk about the longevity. The Jeep Grand Cherokee competes with the, the Range Rover and the cars that are two and three times more. The Range Rover is 160000 Is that what you were looking to spend, Mr. Customer? You were looking, oh, did you want to get a Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit Reserve for seven uh, for 70000 That's half the price and has twice the stuff with a Macintosh audio. And then the Jeep Wranglers, I don't think there's ever been in a, a situation where anybody's too far upside down in a Jeep Wrangler, and we don't sell them over sticker, yada, 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 that's the case. The rest of the cars, leave them in the trash. Don't even, don't even sell them. Those crap ass, like the Cherokee... The, uh, any of the Dodge, the Dodge SUVs are tr shit. You don't want those. Just stick to the, the pickups. I think Dodge Ram, a Ram just pulled their pants down and they're offering a 479 lease on the pickup. So what you always watch for is in the car companies when you work for, who's going to hoe up first? Who's going to put their car into the street for cheap money? And it literally is going to cost the house money. Meaning like Infinity is famous for it. I'd be selling cars in a, let's just say, uh, an Acura was like a good deal at like, let's just say 500 bucks a month in MDX for a lease. People would come in with like an Infinity JX, you know, whatever the yeah. stupid nomenclature they have. And they'd be like, I'm leasing this for 380 a month. And I'd look at the lease and it was real. Yeah. And I would be like, go buy it. That's so cheap. Like, I can't even believe they're letting a car out that competes with this out for 380. That Infinity almost bankrupted themselves a couple of years ago doing that. In 07, I think they did. They almost put their company in the toilet because they were writing out. It was the M... 70 or whatever that their big body sedan they were leasing it for like 500 bucks a month and it had no business being fine it was like none of the numbers worked and it almost blew the company apart um you can look into it that's 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 why i hate infinity so much but whoever pulls their pants down first and hoes their car out is a really big tell you'll be able to find out go shopping for all the makes and models that you want but um i think ram just did it with their pickups and hey everything's fun when it's a good deal like hey do i love dodge no but do i do i would i pay 175 dollars a month more a month 
for a Ford or a Chevy? No, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's that's the sale. That's the when when someone when you have a product that's gonna the the, dot, the company's the the manufacturer is gonna hoe it out. Ha, play the whole role. It doesn't matter. You got Joe Collins with the twenty five. Nick, any good car sales? Courses. Andy Elliott looks like a total right uh, roid head scammer. Dude, you don't need cart. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I've been on the I've been on the floor for three weeks, and we're get, giving new cars away with no profit. I see guys sell five a day, and I'm struggling to find what works. All right, dude, you're if you're working at all right. So this is called that's called a whorehouse. All right, listen to me. You don't need fucking sales. You need to understand the dynamic of what you're selling. If you working in a whorehouse right now. You tell the customer you work in a whorehouse. You say, my manager is gonna give you a fucking car. If you let customers leave, you should be closing at 100% closing ratio. If someone came there to buy, they didn't come there to buy fucking lollipops, you wear them down and you sell as many cars. You figure, it is a simple machine. And you're not fucking anybody. When you are in a place where your manager's a dipshit and he doesn't wanna hold any profit, good. You know what you do, you exploit it. You sell, you figure out the game, and you figure out the way they do it as fast as possible. Watch the guy who's doing five. He's he's saying something into the parking lot on the test drive to him. He's like, listen, here's the deal. We're going to go inside. I'm going to fight for you a little while. My manager's going to give it away. He needs to move units. It's a perfect time to buy a car. COVID fucked us over. We're paying 5000 over sticker. Now we're doing 3000 off. That's $10,000 the other way. You got to take it right now. There's four cars in the lot. Understand your inventory and sell them the good ones. Pick out the good ones for your customers. That's your edge. Mr. Meaner with the 35 Canadian. Hey, Nick and Chris. Nick, I was the guy who DM'd you last Friday asking you as a 23-year-old with no skills, should they get into car sales? I have no automotive knowledge but want to make a lot of money. Go for it. I got a kid hit me up this week and he was like, bro, I was working as a fucking Amazon driver and I just sold 21 cars this month and my paycheck was like, he sent me his pay stub and it was like $11,000. That's why I do this stuff, dude. I fucking love that. An Amazon driver's not gonna make fucking eleven thousand dollars a month. You fucking know it. I don't want to hear it. It's not cool. It's the kid. The kid just turned himself into a fucking beast. All right. He was alone driving in a fucking Amazon truck. I get it. If you're hungry, go to just go to a good car dealership. Volume luxury, please God. Try to understand what I'm saying. Volume luxury, Honda, Toyota, Lexus, Acura. Acura is not volume though. So Acura is not really that much money unless you're. But um, volume, volume, volume is what you want. You want volume bonuses. You'll get really good at it. The beginners. For the beginners, go to the volume dealership. The guys who have no experience, they'll take A, you'll get hired because it's a fucking whorehouse, and B, it's a chance for you to learn how to sell 20 cars and make yourself fucking 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22,000 dollars a month. It changes your fucking life. It changed mine. It made me stop taking people so fucking seriously. Eli Shu with the 25. I've been doing carpentry straight out of high school, but I have gotten too comfortable and my pay has been stagnant. Do you think I have a shot at being a car salesman with a DUI on my record? No, they get pretty hard on that. It's okay, you'll get, I have a DUI. You'll get by it. It just takes a little time, um, but it's not worth it. If, you, if, you, if your work has become stagnant, get out of the rut. Start taking on more work. Like double down for just a little bit, but have a plan. Say I'm gonna do six more hours of work a week. I'm gonna take that money, I'm gonna buy myself a blow job or something, a mental blow job. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna work and do a side job to make an extra 250. 400 for the MILF. 400 for the MILF. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pay a MILF to titty fucker for 400. It's not sounding so bad anymore. It's not, right? <laughs> Are you almost done? Are you almost done? <laughs> I thought you liked this. So what would I like about this? <laughs> the wafting of your shit ass? <laughs> uh, That's funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been talking about t how titty fucking is just so fucking yeah. unfun and how like ridiculous of a concept it yeah, was yeah, like yeah, growing yeah, up. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, titty fucker and everything. Like, yeah. really? Yeah. Cool. Get a foot job. Yeah, yeah, right. Strange. And it was just so normal.